Hello grade 11s and 12s or whoever else may be watching this. Uh, welcome to the Sigma Sun Tutors channel. I'm Anthony and I'm your senior lecturer on yeah, on this channel. Now, uh, on today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about the different types of patterns. Now there's you know, numerous types of patterns out there. There's your Fibonacci, Fibonacci sequences, uh, there's arithmetic, there's geometric, there's quadratic, there's, you know, you name it. But for the grade 11 and 12 curriculum, you need to concern yourself with only three different types. And that is the arithmetic, the geometric, as well as the quadratic. For grade 11, it's only quadratic as well as arithmetic, sometimes referred to as the linear pattern. Now on this video, on today's video, I'm going to be talk, teaching you guys how to find the nth term or the formula for the arithmetic pattern. So whenever you're required to find the nth term, what that means, simply it simply means that you need to determine the formula. Now before you, you do that, you need to know the standard form for the arithmetic pattern and that it's, yeah, that's, that's it right there. But, like what is an arithmetic pattern? An arithmetic pattern is a pattern where there's a common difference between all pairs of consecutive terms. Like in, in this case, for example, you've got 21 minus 16, that should give you 5. 16 minus 11, that should give you 5 too. So our, our common difference is 5. So, and we, we indicate that with a D. A refers, always refers to, sorry, okay. A always refers to our first term. Uh, in this case, it's 11. And all you do is simply substitute your values for a and d into the standard form and then solve. Okay, so that's 5n minus 5 plus 11. And that should give you 5n, 11 minus 5, that's 6. Now you can verify and check using any position, you know, in the given uh, pattern. You can check using, you know, the second position, 2, substitute 2 into the... You know, into the formula that you've worked out. Now, if you've worked out correctly, that should give you a 16. If you substitute 3, which is our third term, it should give you 21. If you substitute 1 for n, that should give you an 11. And that's how that even we've worked it out correctly. 